Hi everyone, my name is Roniel Rivera Garcia, an agricultural engineering student from Iowa State University. But this summer, I was part of the CD Skills at EEU program, doing research found by the USDA here at the University of Florida. The title of my project was Sugar Cane Production Model in Puerto Rico, Unlocking Circular Economy Potential Using this app. First, I want to share with you my collaborators, but I want to highlight Dr. Gary Hugenbold and Enrique Variolo Diaz that were my mentors in this project, but also Anna, Dawood, and Armando that helped me with this project and without them, it wouldn't be possible. We came out with this first research question, can we produce sugarcane again in Puerto Rico? Well, of course we can, because we used to produce a lot of sugarcane in Puerto Rico, but can we compete now with these big countries like Brazil or a state like Florida or Louisiana? Well, maybe we don't need to, but first we need to know what will be the potential yield or potential production of what will be a good estimation to aim for. That's why we're going to use this app, and that's my research on, because this program focuses on two, in two things, digitalization and circular economy. These go into the digitalization because we can digitalize part of the agricultural side, and with a series of inputs and initial conditions, we can have a good approximation of what will happen if we really perform that experiment in a field but in this case, we are doing it in a software. So it's very useful because we don't need to waste time and resources when we can have a very good prediction with this. Of course, the hard part of this is that we have to find a specific information. In this case, a specific information for that location that is a sugarcane farm, and it used to be a, a big central, a big refinery, but right now they're trying to grow sugarcane again, but it's the only farm in Puerto Rico that's trying to do it. So that's why we want to check if really we start producing again, can we uh, produce enough to satisfy our demand? Well, we perform uh, different experiments, but in this case, we focus on potential production and expected production. And we also talked with some farmers there, and I had experience working in that same sugarcane farm. So we saw, we have some records in Puerto Rico, and we also saw the maximum uh, values in Puerto Rico that were like 80 tons per hectare, the farmer's expectation, expectation that is like 76 tons per hectare. And we see that our model can almost double it. So if we have better practices, uh, we really can fill that gap and produce a lot more. That's why this is so important because it tells us that we can, with different uh, agricultural practices and with different management, we can really produce a lot more and maybe supply for the demand of sugar cane. But I have been talking about the demand of sugar cane in Puerto Rico, but I never mentioned why we need that much. Well because we, we, we want to create a circular economy in Puerto Rico, or at least that's our solution for the problem, because Puerto Rico is considered the rum capital of the world. So we have a lot of distilleries there. And right now they're importing a lot of the molasses that they use to produce rum. So if we can really supply that molasses, we can this use it to distillation, but also that can be used to produce biogas the, the water waste that that produce and some companies are doing it right now but what will help us is using the slush and water waste as fertilizer for the agricultural production again of course this research focus on the agricultural production side but it's important to know that we can do better and there is room to grow so that's what my project is all about and i hope you find it interesting so thank you appreciate it